Happy new release day, everybody. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, coming at you with our first live look at 2019 Panini Phoenix Football. Eight box, inner case, pick your team number one from a fresh master case. Or my first live look, actually, Jason Jaspi did a master case random team break earlier today. Okay, so my first look. There it is. Wednesday, the 16th, eight box inner, pick your team one. There's all the names right there. Chris last spot mojo with the Denver Broncos. A little oppo Joe mojo as well, going oppo. And there's all the names and players and teams and blah, blah, blah right there. Let's open up this case. Let's see which inner case we're gonna do. Let's do a quick roll call. Who's in this break? What team do you have? What are you looking for in particular? If anything, maybe you just got a team just to get a team. All right. So we'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And I, I will select one of these die here. I'll select that one over there. And it's gonna be five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the side we're gonna do right here, and this will be reserved for pick your team number two, which is on the website right now. knocking my monitor around here. So there you go, this will save for next time. I think on Jaspi, if you're watching live, pick your team two is down to 12, so it's almost in single digits. We can easily knock out another one tonight. All right. So Chris Maxwell has a lot of teams in this. You got Broncos, Bengals, Bucks, Hawks, and Jets. Hitless Jets? Do the Jets not have anything in this? Hmm. Why do they. That checklist doesn't look complete. Network here. Oh, ESPN is doing that cover story on DeAndre Hopkins and his mom. That's a pretty good. I already saw it today. It's pretty good though. I didn't realize. All right. There it is. Phoenix football. We got Mariota on the front. He just got benched. Maybe he will rise like the Phoenix once again after his latest setback. So we're looking for two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. Good luck, everybody. All right. TJ, what's going on?
All right, we're going to lead off with Julio Jones. There's that DK Metcalf number to 299. We'll sleeve and top load those later, just in the interest of time. We want to breeze through these. Miles Sanders for the Eagles to 149. And 35 out of 35, our first autograph, J.J. Arthigo Whiteside. That's for Paul Hutchins and the Fly Eagles Fly. There's Trevion Williams to 199. There's rookie rising, Nikhil Harry to 99 for the Patriots. And we got Irv Smith Jr. I like the nice clean look in Phoenix this year. Cleaner than in years past, I feel like. 13 out of 25, Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings. Conrad Boats for the Vikings. We'll have all those top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out, of course. David Long to 35. No, they rained it out. They pushed it until tomorrow. So nothing, just preseason basketball and hockey tonight, boss man. That's what we got on tap. There's Antonio Brown to 25. There's Rock Yasin to 299. If I miss any of the parallels, I think I'm gonna be able to catch most of the parallels. You can see the colors in the background. But don't worry, our sorting and shipping team will catch all of those. There's Kenyon Drake, veteran relic. Corners and edges are a lot sharper this year, too. I remember maybe the first year they did Phoenix a few years ago. I feel like the corners and edges weren't as sharp as they are this year. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just revisionist history, but that's what I'm noticing. Uh, TJ Leonard with the Dolphins. It's Derwin James. It's kind of a sharp background. I like that. I wish that was numbered. Tom Brady to 199. Deron Payne to 199, 007 out of 199. There's Mariota to 299. There you go. So that's box one. Here is box two. Speaking of Mariota, benched for Ryan Tannehill, but I think they're saying maybe not for good, maybe just for this week. I don't know what what do they what do they do in Tennessee? I feel like maybe you have to move on from Mar Mariota, right? I feel like. I feel like guys like Mariota, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson, they have such a particular set of skills, you know, like Liam Neeson, a very particular set of skills that if you are not maximizing that or, or like kind of rebuilding your team or building your team to maximize that, then it's almost like, what's the point? So get the quarterback that you want, especially Vrabel's there as a new coach and everything. Might need to make a change there. Mr. Mike Zaddy, what's going on? Doing well on this new release day. You know, there's a lot of talk around L.A. about this guy, Jared Goff. What's he all about, you know? Kyler Murray. I think the Kyler Murray situation is perfect for him. He's in the right spot with the right coach, with the right organization who believes in what they're trying to do. I feel like guys like Matt Stafford could probably could probably be anywhere though. There's Jalen Hurd. That's a catch. That goes to the Niners. That'll leave for Lee. That's to 15. Nice low number on that. There's Jerry Tillery to 199. 
There's Cam Newton. Let's see, there it is, out of 149. He just needs to be healthy. Then we can see what he has left, what he's got. Richard Sherman, out of 149. Always shake his hand. If you see him on the streets, always shake his hand. You don't want to disrespect Richard Sherman. I think that's the rabbit hole that Richard Sherman opened up. I'll bet he can't go anywhere now without people saying, I got to shake your hand. <laughs> there's Rodney Anderson to 299. And there's Jarrett Stidham, jersey and autograph for the Patriots. These, these Phoenix looks sharp this year. That'll be for Marcus, who got the Pats. 80 out of 99. Tom Brady, QB Vision to 199. There's Will Greer to 299. Derek Carr. I think there's going to be some questions about Derek Carr as well. Do they go 17 out of 75 East and stick? Stick with Derek Carr. Or do you move on? Is he the guy? Do you build around Derek Carr? East and stick. Phillip Rivers starting to look old. All of a sudden, last couple games, Chad O. It's Easton Stick, the guy. Chad has the char uh, Chargers in this one. There's Derek Carr again. Todd Gurley to 299. Will Greer to 149. Richard Sherman again. Shake his hand, folks, out of 299. Possible MVP right there, Christian McCaffrey. All right, next box. Uh, Felipe Rios never ages. I don't know why. I, I'm still baffled at the at the, at the Chargers' last couple of weeks. Still, still baffled. But they're getting healthier. Maybe Melvin Gordon now kind of in the mix. It'll be like his, what, third preseason game for Mel Gor Melvin Gordon now. So he's getting there. Michael Vick claimed that who would play another four, four or five years? Michael Vick? That he could play another four or five years or that Philip Rivers would play another four or five years? Oh, that Rivers would play another four or five years? I could see that. I actually don't think it's Philip Rivers' fault. Not a... Um, Anthony Lynn, the man, is 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 pretty is pretty stand up. I don't know if Anthony Lynn, the head coach, is uh, is quite the right answer there. Losing this guy, I think, for the season early on, I think really kind of kind of set things off on a weird foot. There's Equinemius St. Brown to 299, and there's Tony Pollard. Woo, piece of the pigskin. And his autograph, your uh, Ezekiel Elliott handcuff. That's for SKS to 149. Maybe you'll see him involved more in the action as time goes on, just to give Ezekiel Elliott a little bit of rest, not overuse him. There's Byron Murphy to 99. Chris thinks the Rivers is going to have hang it up. Oh, hang up having kids, not not football. There's Josh Jacobs, 99. There's Philip Rivers right there, QB Vision. There's Sam Darnold right here to 299. Jets look like a completely different team with Sam Darnold. 
They have a shot against the Patriots. There's Jeffrey Simons, or Simmons, to 149. And Damian Harris, speaking of the Patriots. Here's your rookie relic. And that's for Marcus and the Pats. To 100. Catching fire. And a 299. David Montgomery. To 199. Deontay Johnson to 299. Are the Niners for real, ladies and gentlemen? Jimmy Garoppolo, QB Vision right here. Are the Niners for real? Baker Mayfield to 149. It might be. It's Adam Thielen. 24 out of 25 for the Vikings. That's for Conrad. And there's Ed Oliver behind him and, and Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver autograph for Ron Kuhn. Kuhn! And that goes to the Bills. Buffalo! There's Leighton Van Der Esch to 199. Keenan Allen to 199. Healthy, productive, excellent. Chris Maxwell says Niners are real. I mean, they're going to... Are they going to cruise? Are they going to cruise against, I think, the Redskins this week? TJ Leonard said the Niners are for real. I said that last week. If the Niners... I mean, I have to... I have to go with what I said. I said before that Rams game, Niners-Rams games, I said, listen... If the Niners beat the Rams, because that was kind of a must, sort of a must-win spot for the for the Rams. Rams are now they've now fallen to three and three, and so Niners are undefeated. That's gonna be hard for the for the Rams to win that division. I think wild card is more in their sights now, especially after losing that big divisional game. So I said last week, the Niners beat the Rams in, in a, almost a must-win spot for the Rams, or, or kind of a have-to-win, can't-lose spot for the Rams. Then I said, then I said the Niners are for real. Looks like the Niners are for real. T.J. Leonard saying that that front seven, no joke. And Garoppolo can air it out when they need to. All right. It's Christian Wilkins to 299. And we got justice being served to the Purple Birds. Two color, dual relic, and autograph, Justice Hill. Joe Hauer and the Ravens. His Ravens. He's a Ravens guy, playing like a Raven today. Now Chris Maxwell had the Niners winning that division, but he also had the Titans winning the division, so what does he know? I don't know. If you thought that he would take over, the offense would be better, defense would be better, and Mariota takes the next step, I think... Uh, I think I'd, I would have been with you if, if you if that was the narrative you were selling me. Here's Darius Leonard to 99. And, wow, that's a triple relic, triple autograph from our Raiders. Some Raider Joe Mojo. There's Josh Jacobs. There's Derek Carr and Antonio Brown. Wow. So you, you you know when they produced this. They, they, they were building this before the whole Antonio Brown thing went down. Five out of ten on that triple relic. Triple autograph. Who picked up my Raiders? Arik Hevner with that one. Yeah, I kind of wish, you know, maybe not have the Antonio. But he barely signed, so... 
There could be some value there. Nice triple relic, triple auto. We might have to save that for picture time for the social media. There's Baker Mayfield to 299. Yeah, I'm not sure if I if if I'm with you, TJ Leonard, on the on Seattle though. Leonard saying, much as it pains me to say, don't sleep on Seattle, but Seattle's five and one, but they be, they barely beat the Bengals by a point. They beat the Steelers by two points. They lost to the Saints, who had just lost Drew Brees the week before. They beat the Cardinals; they aren't very good. They only barely beat the Rams, a field goal away from losing to the Rams, and they only beat the Browns, you know, by a few a few points or so. The Browns were just giving the ball away to them all the time. It's Michael Vick to 299. So Russell Wilson, I think, is definitely possibly MVP candidate. He's keeping them in all these ball games. There's Tristan Hill. To, to 199 so I think there's I think the the record is too kind to the Seattle Seahawks I think at least for now so, until they start beating a lot better competition more comfortably Alexander Madison going to Conrad and the Vikings there's Jared Goff QB vision to 75 hey Don what's going on Yes, I would love to do that. I think Nick Jaspi will be back in the shop in a little bit. And he can definitely help us fly through that update stuff, so we'll have time to break even more stuff tonight. It's Bryce Love, 35. Todd Gurley, to uh, 199? Yeah, to 199. Liam's like, yo, are we talking Russell? Ever heard of Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater? Yeah, he's pretty good last week. But, you know, Russell Wilson's been doing it for many seasons. Still have enough trash can room for this break. Jimmy Connell is saying that's ex yeah, exactly that was um, that was my point, Chris Maxwell. So they could be 0 and 5, Just kind of barely beating not so good teams. Jimmy Connell is saying, listen, unless Seattle fixes the pass rush and the secondary, they're not going to continue what they're doing. I was like, yeah, exactly. Russell Wilson is really the man keeping them in these games and giving them these narrow leads, but. They gotta they gotta shore up that, that defense. Sean Corbett thinks they're getting their number one D tackle back from suspension, so that boosts the D a little bit. Thinks that Penny, fully healthy, will help spell Carson, keep them both fresh for the long term. Well hey, numbers wise, they're in good position. Five and one. You know, they they can go through a little bit of a of a dry spell, you know. And then still be in a good position to work their way into a playoff spot. Maybe the division, if Niners slip up a little bit. There's Mariota to 149. And there's Deron Payne. 25 and there's Rodney Anderson 24 out of 25 for the Bengals Bengals autograph going to Chris Maxwell he's got his game face right there it's Melvin Ingram to 199 Liam is saying hey Saints are holding their stand without this guy Drew Brees It's true. I think the the narrative around Breeze in recent years was, hey, he's getting a little bit older, and so he starts to starts to fade by the second half of the season. But now he's kind of has like a he's kind of had a break. 
Dual Relic and Autograph, TJ Hawkinson. Hawk. Going to Chad O. And the Lions. Nice TJ Hawkinson. 41 out of 99. He just missed a touchdown or two on the Monday night game. There's Elijah Holyfield to 99. It's a Vanders kid. Mark Ingram to 29 or to 299. There's Quadri Allison for the Falcons to 149. There is rookie AJ Brown relic for the Titans. That'll be for TJ Leonard. To 75. 60 out of 75 on that one. Miles Sand. These aren't numbered, but I really like that pattern in the background there. Phil Rivers, 52 out of 99. Byron Murphy to 199. Cardinals. We got Joan Williams. 299. And three boxes to go. Eastwood, I'm, I think a lot of people's attention seem to be on the new release, Phoenix, tonight. So I wouldn't hold my I mean, it's possible, but I'm not sure if I'd hold my breath for, for that one. Yeah, I thought that would move a little bit more quickly too, TJ. That the gold, the gold label. Um, a lot of new release on the site, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So I think everyone's attentions are all spread out in different directions. Chris Maxwell says Saints have a decision to make in 2020. Do they though? I mean, there's no way they're releasing Drew Brees, right? I think Drew Brees plays until the end of his contract. When, when is is unless the end of his contract is? This year. What's his contract situation? Oh, both he and Teddy Bridgewater are up? Oh, I didn't know that. There's Barry Sanders, 75. Then they do have a big decision to make. There's Darwin Thompson. He's 299. And there's Easton Stick. Is that the future of the Chargers quarterback position, Chad O, who has the Chargers? 8 out of 35. There's Adam Thielen, 75. Jerry Rice to 99. There's little Jordan Humphrey for the Saints to 199. There's David Montgomery, jersey and autograph for the Bears. It's a nice looking one. That will be for Sergio, who picked up the Bears, and then pick your team one. It's Corey Davis to 299. Eli. Rookie Rising, Marquise Brown to 199. Gronk will come back to the Patriots, I'm sure, at some point. There's Deion Jones to 199 for the Falcons. There's Bobby Wagner to 299. And 13 out of 75, Jason Witten, veteran relic. Cowboys, that goes to SKS. 
Josh Rosen benched for Fitzpatrick for now. There's Russell Wilson, MVP candidate right there. Jared Goff, Rams need to get back on track to 99. Chandler Jones for the Cardinals to 149. Rodgers and little Jordan Humphrey. Two boxes to go. I think that the Saints, going back to the Saints really quick, I think they, they, they're signing Breeze for like another year or two, right? You know, if Breeze thinks he has a little little extra left in the tank, they'll they'll give him a they'll give him a couple years or so. One more ride with Drew Breeze. And I think they won't be able to keep Bridgewater. I think someone will take a chance on Bridgewater or pay him a lot of money. So you gotta I think you just ride with Breeze again. Maybe hope that Breeze, you know, does like a Tom Brady thing, takes a little less money, and then they try to add whatever pieces they, they, they need to that team. Liam's hot take. That's if Breed doesn't want to. He has, he has a number of kids, blah, blah, blah. Liam's saying after retirement that Drew Brees is going to co-own the Pelicans? That's a nice retirement gift. Saints owner says, hey, how about the Pelicans? All right. Final two boxes. Good luck. There's Willie Galt, retired autographs. That'll be for the Bears. Old Bear going to Sergio. That is out of 149. 56 out of 149. Tyree Jackson, 75. There's Phillip Rivers, 299. Lamar Jackson to 299. Dexter Lawrence to 149. And Andy Dalton, 9 out of 10. Veteran, three color patch. Nice. Bangles. That'll be for Chris Maxwell. Man, I feel like Andy Dalton in a different situation. I know he's been there so long. So it's lucky. like, like he's so lucky. <laughs> if any other franchise, I would have dropped the. He would have been gone, right? But that's just not the right spot for him, though. I feel like yeah, he's, like he's got some talent. Maybe on a different team, the Red Rifle could could be a Red Cannon. I don't know. He has been in the league for a while. There's Damian Harris to two ninety nine. There's Antonio Brown, 149. Jarrett Stidham, 299. And Daryl Henderson, jersey and autograph. I don't know. If Todd Gurley's really banged up, they're going to really start using Malcolm Brown and Daryl Henderson a lot more. So it could be some upside here. Michael Gallucci, 35 out of 99 with the Rams. Got him on the fantasy team. There's Jermaine Pratt to 199. There's Matthew Stafford, QB Vision to 199. And the last box coming up. Speaking of Stafford, Chris Maxwell saying Dalton and Stafford need fresh starts. Man, can you imagine Matthew Stafford in like... I don't know, where would you want to see Matthew Stafford? Can you imagine Matthew Stafford on uh, in like yeah Falcons?
Go back to Georgia, Matthew Stafford. Yeah, imagine, imagine Stafford throwing to Julio Jones all day long. Woo. Woo. Stafford to Julio. Man, that would be bananas. Stafford on like Jacksonville could be interesting. Stafford in Carolina. Stafford kind of like a gunslingery kind of quarterback, you know, can make big plays. You know, put him on a team that needs like a confident quarterback. Titans. Imagine what AJ Brown and. Corey Davis can do with Matthew Stafford throwing to him. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. I think we're right on schedule, too. Um, we'll go through about, looks like we got seven or so orders here. So we'll go through a handful of these orders and see what we're going to get into after this. So nothing sold out at the moment. No one's telling me anything, signaling that anything's been sold out. So I think we might be wide open for the for the next break. Nothing scheduled yet, folks. So pop over to jazbeescasebreaks.com and check it out. I know there's a lot of stuff on the website, but a lot of new releases that's pulling everybody in different directions. But just grab spots and then we'll figure it out. Jersey and autograph, Hunter Renfro. I want to see Renfro in the action a little bit more. Arik Hevner with the Raiders, my Raiders, to 125. Let's go Raiders. Three and two. He told me the Raiders were going to be three and two. There's Jerry Tillery to 199. I think they're still on the road for another like week or two before they're playing at home again. They've been on the road for like a month and a half. Mari Cooper. To 199. We got LJ Collier to 299. And we've got Neil Smith. Autograph. He's got a nice auto. Nice Neil Smith for the Chiefs. Retired auto. That's going to be for the Chiefs. David Frick with the old Chief out of 149. 002 out of 149. Nice. Drew Locke to 99. To 299, James Collier. Earl Thomas to 199. DeAndre Hopkins to 299. And Debo Samuel, rookie, two color patch for the Niners. Lee with San Francisco. That is to 25. Let's see what other parallel we have here. Dexter Lawrence. Haskins to uh, 199. It's Matthew Stafford and Jalen Hurd. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I can do a quick little recap. I got all the hits right here. And obviously we'll top load all of these before they're sorted and sorted and shipped out over the next couple days or so. And they'll be on their way to you in no time. And the big hit out of this break was certainly the triple relic, triple auto, Josh Jacobs, Derek Carr, and yes, Antonio Brown. So there you have it, folks. That was Pick Your Team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. This is Joe. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.